Aleppo. I give the advantage to Integral Nation here. They have had the stronger fuel depot in recent history. And keep in mind that the side of Purple Cobras are a squad that do not play together so much. I, I do. Yeah, I believe just in the past uh, week or so, um, they've just formed together um, to try and uh, get a solid lineup for the final this coming uh, Sunday due to two members unfortunately not being able to play. Uh, this Sunday coming. It's a little bit heartbreaking to those GPP fans to know that their Gears of War overlords of the Oceanic World Cup <laughs> will not be participating, but we are live. I'm just going to be jumping on board with my man Zeke. He's been playing out of his mind, been through the games I've spectating, seen him get a few 1v3s, seen him even break into double digits on the kill count, but like I said, we are going. Zeke, he's going to be taking a full red seating to bed, right in front of him. Gets it down a bit, to finish up. Gets but unfortunately, dead zone with the cross, going to be downing Zeke, so looks like he will be cleaned up by Dark Souls. A 1v2, we see Mercer and Zed. He's got a boom shot barreling down at him. He's going to try to escape, but no. Elite with a nice down. And uh, that just seemed to be like a really, really strong um, contest there by the uh, players of Integral. Uh, contesting again on their slow side, managing to get more kills around that front door area and able to have someone, I think, run back door and get a free boom pickup. No, you're exactly right. We saw Dark Sayer and the likes of... I do believe that was Virix contesting the front door while Elite was able to get in there. But we are back in the round. Darkseid throwing out a nice smoke, nearly getting killed by his teammate there. Looks like the side of Pebble Cobra will be going a little bit more slow. Darkseid going to be moving up round to generator. Mercer gets a nice give on to Virix for followed up with the one shot of jumping through players. Now we see Elite. If we can jump to him, he is taking a 1v1 at his sniper cluster. Zeke's going to get the body. And it's now it's a 3v2 in favor of the Pebble Cobra. Darkseid, as he picked up Boomshot, stepped up on the landing, almost getting taken out by a nade. His teammate does go down, do a pistol inside, but he's just probably going to wait for him to step up. I don't think there's any more nades that are going to be able to clean him up. Although the Locust, they have picked up a sniper, they could clean up this kill as he stands up, and no, he was not quite in the right position, and uh, I believe that was uh, Ramtram, he gets out with his life there able to tap up on his own. Yeah, that's definitely lucky. Zeke narrowly missing the shot on Kim's massive chrome dome there. Dead Zone gonna have to back off after Dark Sayer has moved up. I think it's worth noting that Sayer himself does not have a Nasher. He is gonna be running the uh, boom shot Lancer combo. Looks like in the fray of things. Didn't have time to switch to that primary shotgun. Uh, Nasher, sorry. Uh, Lancer rather. To switch it out for the boom so gonna be having a boom and lancer gonna be drastically reducing his effectiveness once that boom shot has been expended but we see zeke moving into the cog side spawn he's got himself the long shot sniper rest aside watching mid box and dead zone gonna be waiting for more frag grenades it just seems uh, reasonable that this round has come to somewhat of a stalemate um <sighs> integral just holding uh, inside here well around the boom area just Maybe waiting for a second room, but they seem to be pushing out uh, here this far side hammer burst. Maybe trying to pick off a player by himself with the boom, but no, that's not the case. Uh, Locust player does get out of there quickly. Uh, not, you know, obviously not trying to get caught out by a boom any, in any matter. But say I believe, still has two booms in his possession. <laughs> Getting, although just walking out in some open air, and Zeke was just watching with those eagle eyes. Yeah, he missed the first shot, but makes up for it, getting the boom shot played, is going to be a 3v1. Ramtram, he's running out of off, he's running out of time. Zeke securing another kill for himself, and basically winning that round. We saw Sayer, he moved up to that front door with the boom, so patient. Didn't want to waste any of the shots, wanted to just maintain the advantage and pressure that the boom shot brings. But Zeke, making, taking the advantage of Sayer's slow moving steps. It's unfortunate to watch. So let's jump on board with Virix here. He's yet to get himself a kill. Two deaths, but I'm, I got a feeling Virix, he can never count this player out. Let's see if he can make something happen here. Lumberjack, take it away. So again, a, con uh, a contest here by both teams at the front door. Virix going down quickly. Zeke pushing up, getting the give. Dead zone as well. Downing stay at rest aside, cleaning up that kill. Although Integral has picked up the boom shot, but left his team out outside by himself. And now it's uh, 1v4 and uh, this player of Integral Elite, he has one boom left I believe in the chamber and 
Things looking rather grim for him. Now, there's a little thing called Caster's Curse, ladies and gentlemen. Anytime you mention how a player is going to perform, they do the exact opposite. We saw Virix. He hesitated running into that front door, and there was no smoke cover. Immediately got taken down by an up A from Zeke, who got himself a double kill. We see Elite going for a nice boom shot onto Zeke, getting that one, but getting himself full red in the process. He's in a 3v1. He's back generating. He's trying to go for the 1v1, but gets taken the full red and dead zone. Get the kill. I guess um, it seems interesting um, when they're going to contest round the front door uh, integral, but they're still sending a guy back door, leaving a 4v3 out the front door against them. I mean, it worked for him in the first round, but um, just I guess what happened in that previous round was an example of of, you know, how that wouldn't work out for them. We've got to jump on board with Zeke here, or playing that last round immaculately, going through, getting the aggression, looks like they will be giving up the control of Boomshot. He sees Tegan in his side, going for a watcher, gets the first, can he get another one, and gives him without even taking a single point of damage. Zeke is just playing phenomenally. He sets his sights to the sniper player, trying to go full on aggression. He's got to be careful that the boom is waiting around. Virix gets picked off by a straight A from Dezo. It looks like Zeke will be in another one, backing off just to make sure the shot's coming in. He's taking half He goes with a massive freight train and takes out a lead. That was impressive. That was some extremely good play there by Zeke, able to kick up, uh, kick off the round with the first blood. Uh, f on the sneaky Sayer that was sitting up on the stairs up to Helipad and then just chasing down this sniper player and just completely, I think, personally outplaying yep. him in that 1v1 position That there. was phenomenal to watch. Zeke just putting on a show for us to jump on board with the top scoring player of IN. It's got to be Dark Sayer. He's had a little bit of questionable maneuvers the last few rounds. He's got himself those frag grenades, but immediately Mercer and Zeke just open it up with another kill. Good nades coming in from Sayer. Gets the first one. Not going to get anything more. Just playing this helipad side very slow, very meticulous. Uh, meticulous, rather. Looks like he will be getting those second set of frags. One boom goes out. Full reds onto Virix. A fight going into that mid boxes area. Virix, he's going to have to bolt out, but another nade from Sayer to cut off the chase. I think we're going to jump on here with Rest Aside now. He has the boom in his hands. Only one shot left, however. Going to try and make a play on these guys down lower stairs of Hammer Burst. He's a little slow to get there, though. Zeke getting caught out by Sayer, um, bringing his team in a man-up position here. Rest Aside's and uh, Dead Zone, I believe. Yes, last two players alive Ooh. for the Locust team. Kind of stack out here, getting crossed from every single angle up here on this helipad. They're just going to try and... I guess survive, use though. this last boom. I know I'm surprised it didn't go down there. Um, able uh, able to maneuver themselves uh, to the front stairs. Probably in a more favorable pos uh, position now. But in saying that, they still are a man down. They only have one boom um, that they're able to use. Um, and uh, this round may slow down a little bit. Maybe they're gonna go to, gonna try and get back inside, get some control. And Dead Zone is gonna. Follow in through the front door, possibly? Yeah, it looks like that will be the case, getting lanced through the shutter doors, but the side of Purple Cobras here, they're running out of map control, they're running out of pressure. The squad of IN, they're less scared of one boom shot than normally with two. Looks like we have a sniper in the hands of Virix and one in the hands of Lisa. Will be Dark there just rocking that national lancer combo. Here comes Rick. He's going in through that front door. He spots the boom player to his right. Going to be booking it out of there ASAP. The boom ammo should be up there. It is a smoke grenade to flood the entrance. A frag comes in, but it is going to fall short, allowing Resticide to get himself two more shots. That's three bullets total in the in his backpack he is going to be able to work with, allowing them to get more pressure, allowing them to push up through this generator side, moving up to the cog spawn. <clears throat> Sniper truck, we will see Darksayer rotating back to mid boxes. It the action has been a little lull so far. It seems that Resicide and Dead Zone are really struggling to use this boom shot efficiently. That's precisely it. They still only I mean they've done well to preserve that that one shot left, but I think they're just gonna have to wait out for this second boom to spawn, which should really be up they're now. They already got it. Oh, did they get it? Oh, I must have missed that. I was trying to fix the stream. Um, <clears throat> no, rest so aside, they, they smoked the front entrance. Rest aside was able to slide it. Say it did miss the crucial grenade to pick him off. We see rest and dead zone. They've split up a little bit here, so... 
This is the best time for Iron to try and make a play onto Dead Zone. Rest aside, he's backed off, but it looks like Purple Cobras, they're going to be content with a draw here, which when you've got three boom shots and three players alive, seems a little bit silly to me. We're going to be seeing Darksayer. He's got 30 seconds left on the clock. He's got two grenades in hand, six kills and three deaths, one down, one revive for himself. So he's got that confidence. He's going to got a little bit of time to play with lobbing a nade over the boxes around that locust side of... Hanger here. Gonna be Second happy. frag coming in, not able to connect however. I believe that is the last frag that Integral had to use the round. You, to use that round rather. First boom coming in from a side say is just making a monkey push here, just going completely <laughs> balls to the wall. I guess fair enough. Um, having uh, the sniper I think uh, it could have been elite hanging back. Uh, obviously, you know, what is there to lose in that situation? Unfortunately not paying off for him, he did die at the end of that round, maybe, you know, a bit of a dent in his score. Nonetheless, uh, still somewhat odd round by Purple Cobras there. Yeah, they had every advantage to work with, we saw Resicide a little bit hesitant, reluctant even, to use those boom shots. Zeke, he's going to be moving up to the mid boxes now, jumping back in the round. He's every single power weapon picked up on the side of IM. Zeke, he's just going to be running down the sniper player, immediately get shot in the back. Zeke, he's up the creek without a paddle. Everyone trying to converge on the cog players this side of the map. Sayer, he's got back up. He's trying to go through the boost. Coming out, we see Mercer NZ with the sniper hanging up. <coughs> oh, a beautiful nade from Dark Day, taking out Rest of Time. Stunning Zeke, he's full red. Dead Zone goes down. The push from Purple Cobra is very, very risky. Luckily, <clears throat> they do have the player of Mercer going to be getting a headshot, narrowly missing another one, but it is a 3v1 in favor of I Integral Nation. Purple Cobra is choking here a little bit, Tim. Yeah, no, that's, that's precisely it. Um, <clears throat> I think Zeke uh, trying to make a play off what he did the last uh, yep. uh, slow side for his team, but I think Integral were, were you know, much more prepared for that to happen this round. Elite, you know, did not try and contest the 1v1. He just waited for his teammate at Naze to come back and just left Zeke in a 2v1 and just getting full red, quite in a bad position, had to pull back and just left his teammate in there to die to a Naze. I think it's worth me mentioning, even though Darkseid with an impressive 10 kill count, you have to keep in mind that Elite, Ram, Tram, Derek, they all have a lot of points considering one kill is only worth 175 points to Elite with only one kill, four down, racking a massive point line for himself, but Ram Tram gets taken out by Darkseid. I say you don't give him too much credit for that, but doing everything himself this round. Gets the nade kill, gets the shotgun kill, completely turns that round around for his team, but a boom shot from Zeke gonna be taking him out. That was, however, the last boom shot um, Zeke had in his chamber. He's gonna push up here and very oh. there on this big boxes, but Verix just fainting out the fact that he had a Lancer out, pulling out his Nasher at the last second, and just giving Zeke he went for the back end. Yeah, this is going to be it as Dead Zone gets the whack to take him down. Virix finally showing up here, the breath of fresh air coming out of the squad of Iron Dark. They did all he can, and once he was dead, luckily, Elite and Virix picked up the slack. But it looks like the side of Purple Cobras, they're getting the boom shot on that fast round, but haven't really been able to make anything work. Rest aside, maybe he was a little bit aggressive oh, after holding onto those booms earlier yeah. on the map. Didn't really make anything happen with only one connected. Here we have a 2v1. Uh, a oh no. Oh. No. That's messy. That's definitely messy oh, with the elite taking out Sayo. I, I'm a little lost for words to be honest right now. <laughs> but Sayo was able to get the grenade tag in the process. So unfortunately missing that little piece of action as... I don't even know where it happened. They must have gone on a top um, helipad if I'm not mistaken. I think it must have been, yeah, around at heli. No idea. Anyway, rest aside and Dead Zone. They are going to be holding their entrance to Helipad Elite. He's got himself a snipe. Virix has got a boom. Dead Zone is looking for something to happen here. We see a frag coming out of Mercer. It is going to be on that wide band. He's got Virix in his side. A good amount of Lancer coming out, but there is no crosses. Rest and Dead. They both have themselves their Lancers out. It looks like Virix. He will be caught in a bad spot, but just using that boom to apply the pressure when necessary. You cannot keep yourself vulnerable for too long against players of this caliber when they've got the boom shot. That's precisely it. Virix, so um, just maybe 
dancing around a bit uh, with the boom, thinking he was in an okay position, but just uh, every time D Dead Zone rolled down those stairs, uh, I guess trying to bait out a boom for Virix, Virix just chose to uh, jump over into some boxes. Elite though, picking off a uh, sniper headshot to kick off, I guess, the end to this round, I would say. Dead Zone getting put out by himself uh, on helipad. And Oh, in this corner. And Elite pulling out another sniper headshot, I believe that yeah, would have been. straight up breaking the stalemate, allowing for the squad of Iron to take that map 4-3, to three, two headshots in the last 10 seconds of that round. You have to give props for Elite for being able to use that sniper rifle to break the stalemate to allow his team to win the first map. Even though they did also have the boom shot in their possession, um, Elite's still doing extremely well there, picking off that first blood to give his team the man up. Just allowing that boom shot, uh, pretty much no pressure push up the front stairs of Helipad. Yeah, it was looking really good for the side of Pur Purple Cobras. They were 3-0 up to start that map off, but unable to clench out that victory. Just going to do a quick ready check to make sure the players don't need to take a break and we'll be getting it underway. That's going to be Mansion, the second map. Alright, let's go. Looks like no complaints from the chat. Everyone is ready to go. They've been waiting around for too long. They're excited to play. Both teams want to make it to the finals. They want to take on Citadel Gaming, who've been waiting an exceptional amount of time here. Props to them for the patience. These tournaments do take a little bit of time when things happen, delays happen, but unfortunately it's nothing we control, but we are here, we are ready to go, we're going to be loading into Mansion, probably the most chaotic map in the entire map pool, Lumberjack, give us a rundown of how teams like to play Mansion. <coughs> Mansion, how teams like to play it? Well, they only like to play half of the map, that's one thing I'd <laughs> like to I say about say Mansion. Half, man. At least a quarter. I'd say I'd say a, a, a generous third of the map. <laughs> One generous third. Nonetheless, I guess that is the strat to go. Um, having a boom shot outside, that is a very, very, very important factor in the fact that teams only like to play outside on Mansion. There is nades up on that landing. Uh, that usually becomes a uh, 1v1 position for you know any uh, highly skilled 1v1 Nasha player that would like to play it. But around this statue it will be very hectic, smokes poss possibly everywhere, causing frame rate lag for even the fastest Xboxes there on the planet. Dead Zone getting a quick pick up with the boom, but going down instantly to Ram Tram. Bit of a melee happening here in the middle at statue. Players from Iron going down, but getting picked up and going down again. Mercer here just dancing around this statue, trying to get a gift. Unable to uh, connect. Zeke getting a kill but going at himself. Mercer pulling off the excellent um, back A off the cover. But Virix doing the same thing to him just round that uh, that eye cover at Boom there. And that was, uh, well, that was a mansion round for you. Yeah. That was extremely quick. What more can be said about mansion? That was utter chaos from the word go. We saw a very risky Boom shot coming out from Purple Cobras. Ram Tram and Dark Sayer both punishing a player for that. Let's jump on board with Sayer. We saw him dropping the elbow quite a few times during that round. He's going to be getting that first play. And in fact, Moosak gets the down onto Deadly. Goes in for another massive one shot onto Rasta's side. The next player at Boom, him and Ram Tram both taking that out. And that's already going to be a three to one player advantage for Iron. This possibly will be a Boom pickup. Say is just rolling into a corner. Oh, sorry, Virix rather. Yeah, got the, Jeez, they like to see. They got that double dom combo coming out. These players have been waiting too long. They're forgetting about those character rules, but we will ignore it for now unless it gets brought up. But players aren't too picky about their aesthetics. But it looks like Virix really doing a lot of work for his team. I'm going to be jumping on board with him here, Lumby. I, I want to see where he's playing. It looks like he will be going again. Maybe that statue holds back a bit to get that lance up. Massive amount of de damage coming out onto Deadly. Moving up with that lance across once more. Playing it like the Spears of War 3. He gets it down onto Mercer. He rolls through. Gets the full run. Unfortunately, he misses that shot onto Resticide. Who will be taking that one for himself? But unfortunately, Resticide not going to be able to win a 1v3. No, not at all. Especially when he rolls into uh, <laughs> uh, a Sayer with the shotgun ready at Statue.
Now you're exactly right, unfortunately. This is looking grim for the side of Purple Cobras. They opened up strong on Fuel Depot, taking the first three rounds, but now it looks like they will be getting seven rounded in a row. Should IN be able to take this match at 4-0, which they're in, in their way of doing. Again, just Dead Zone and I think Resticide um, getting rather red of Broom, but able to stay on their feet. Mercer coming through, cleaning up the kill on Statue, although pushing up to their back room, unable to take his 1v there. Ramtram downing Dead Zone, two, uh, play down for each team here, and Ramtram just staying strong with his Nasher, oh, yeah. getting a 1v2 there, and I guess to, he, he thought he deserved a bit of a bag. Yeah, ass asserting his authority, playing that perfectly, ending on top of the leaderboard for his team, staying around that back sandbag area using his active gnashes and supreme accuracy to just take that out and that is going to be I and taking out the best of three 2-0 going to be moving on to the Citadel which I'm sure their players will be getting underway any minute